Have you ever wanted to become a scuba diver? No? Me neither. But hop on over to our Patreon and become a diver to receive exclusive benefits like early and ad-free access to audio episodes, monthly live streams with the founders of Dive Studios, and so much more. These episodes are made possible by our divers, so thank you for keeping us going. Join us at patreon.com backslash dive studios. Thank you. Welcome back to our show where we get real. Get real. On all things concerning life, we are your hosts, Ashley. PH1. And Peniel of B2B. Woohoo! Woohoo! All right. We also have a special guest joining us today. But before we announce our guest, make sure to follow and review the podcast on Spotify and Apple Podcast. Mm-hmm. And if you hate ads, please consider becoming a member of Patreon where you can access ad-free episodes. Yeah. So today we have… Damien in the Damien. studio. Yes, sir. Thank you. <laughs> Hello, Hello, Damien. 30-minute like, nice conversation on how to pronounce his name. <laughs> He's like, is it Damien or Damien or Damien? It's Damien. Yeah. It's Damien. Damien. Yes. Okay. Can you Damien. introduce yourself a little bit? Hello, everyone. This is Hi. singer-songwriter mm. Damien. Mm. And nice to meet you all. Mm. And I'm glad to be here. Nice Aww. to meet nice. you too. Uh, We're happy to have you. Um, Damien is a singer-songwriter who debuted in March of 2020. Oh wow. So still a rookie. Mm. Um, he's under Sony Music. Ooh, and his nice. debut single was called Cassette. Cassette. Thank you. Great song. Oh, yeah. Did it come out in actual like tape cassettes? Oh no no no. no. I didn't. That would have been yeah. cool. That would have been cool. But where are you from? From your accent? Oh I lived in Canada when I was in middle school. Oh, oh. I thought it was like somewhere else. Where did you think Wait, it was? I don't know, like not Canada. <laughs> <laughs> not Canada. <laughs> like Australia, maybe. Oh. oh. A little bit. Aussie accent. Maybe my pronunciation has like changed while I'm living in Korea. Oh, okay. It was like 15 years ago. Oh. Yeah. Oh, and you wow. only lived there for a short time, right? Yeah, one and a half year. Mm. Yeah. So his English is really good. Very good. Protecting yeah. it. Yes, yeah. Hard. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Canada, eh? <laughs> Sorry. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Before you debuted, you actually uploaded songs on like SoundCloud and stuff. And Mm. that's actually how you got discovered, right? Yeah. From Sony Music. Oh. Oh. And then… But you were already living in Korea at the time? Yeah. Because I came back to Korea when I was in like 15. Mm -hmm. And it was kind of crazy because… There was like 120 followers Mm -hmm. of me in SoundCloud. Mm -hmm. And… That was the time when company contacted me. Mm-hmm. So I was like, how did they even find me? Like there's there's only like one in the one one hundred and twenty people are uh-huh. following me. So mm-hmm. they were one of the hundred and twenty. <laughs> yeah, they're one of them. So Oh, nice. Okay. Well, um, I met Damien through my radio show. He was our weekly guest for like a few months. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yes. He's very sweet and kind. Thank you. Um, and I'm glad that you guys got to meet him too. <laughs> <laughs> you rem- no, you uh you remind me of my friend Kevin O so oh. much. Do you get that a lot? Sometimes like you kind oh of look God, similar, does. right? Yeah. We were in the same company. Now that you say that, with his like long hair too. And he- you know, just singer songwriter. Really? Yeah. That's so interesting because you never heard that before? No. <gasps> yeah. Even the hair too. Yeah. It's like Wait, if I look up Kevin O, will he pop up? Yes. Yeah. We actually okay. met like last month because I was in the super band. And uh-huh. he was in the previous session of Superband. So I was like, I'm having a hard time, bro. I, I, I watched Superband. Did you really? watch the season second two, one? Yeah, season Did two. Did you see him? You on season two? Yeah, oh. of course. Yeah. I have a friend a friend on there. Oh. Moon. Moon. Oh, yeah. 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 What's that reaction? Like, oh. oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> we were, oh we were like, her. We were like yeah. too close to each other oh, yeah, now. Yeah, so yeah. I, I was like, oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. She knows, yeah. like, yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. How was Superband? It was amazing actually. And it was very different from the kind of music that I was used to do. Because I only sang on the beat. Mm-hmm. Sang on the beat. But in Superman, I, I was able to meet like real instrument players. Mm. And they're watching at the music. They're watching music at the like very different perspective mm-hmm. from me. So I was like, 
I was very surprised. Yeah. Yeah, there were so many like musical geniuses, like prodigies that like really young people. Yeah. We should make an eye because the word genius came oh, up. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, we just genius. talked about it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Anyways. Okay. Have you watched uh, Get Real before? <laughs> yeah. 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 From the clip. Not like the full. But yeah. 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 Oh. From the yes, clip. It's better than me. <laughs> <laughs> what? Do you not watch at all? <laughs> yeah. Are you subscribed? <laughs> of course. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I will. Gotcha. Surely will. When this episode comes out, I will be. <laughs> 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 okay. Well, we are going to talk about like communication slash miscommunication today. Okay. And since we're hosts here on the Get Real podcast, I wanted to ask, would you say you're good at talking? Oh, that's it? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> As artists or hosts. Good at talking? Mm. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean good at talking though? Like, Yeah, logically or… Like actual… Like… <laughs> Just communication or good at uh, expressing your thoughts. Clearly. Being elaborate and eloquent. I think <laughs> she, like, did, she, <laughs> didn't, she didn't think that far into the question. Yeah. I guess it, as artists, you communicate the most with your fans, right? Yeah. Right. I mean, you do a lot. Yeah. So if you're like standing on stage in front yeah. of your fans, yeah. do you think you're good at keeping them entertained? Actually, that's like stand-up comedy. Not really. Um, just like talking. Yeah, I think… I, 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 think, I, think, I, I think I'm okay. I'm okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think I'm alright. Me too. Really? You yeah. feel more comfortable in Korean, right? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Does your like personality change when you're speaking in English and oh, Korean? I think I'm becoming more confident when I'm speaking English. Because, in English? Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Because I don't know. Because maybe I was more confident when I was in middle school. Mm-hmm. So when I'm speaking English, it comes up to my like previous personality. Oh, mm-hmm. your middle school personality yeah, comes yeah, out. Yeah, oh. yeah true. Mm. Maybe. Don't, don't you guys feel the same way? Like when you… Let's say you're doing a podcast in Korean versus doing a podcast in English. Mm-hmm. I have two different like personalities. Yes. Yeah, my Instagram posts and my Twitter posts are totally different. Their vibes are different. So my Instagram posts… Uh, my… My heavy audience is Korean people, obviously. So uh-huh. I would just post in Korean, more like Korean vibes. You know, all, well, you won't, well, album, album, you know, stuff like that. You know, very uh-huh. polite, whatever. Mm. Sometimes funny, but Twitter is more like just me, like Harry from Long Island. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? Like, I would write about stuff like mosquitoes or like oh, yeah, tacos and stuff like that. Yeah. Just more like inner thoughts. Yeah. Yeah. Just- Tweet it. I'm more comfortable. Mm. Yeah. I think I post the same shit on <laughs> You should translate like yeah, whatever I, you say. I, I, oh, always, yeah, you I, I always post on Korean and English. Yeah. So. yeah. You like perfectly translate. Wow. Nice. Nice. It's cute. That's nice. So yeah, I'm same on both I think. Mm. Duality. Yeah. No, I think just speaking in Korean makes me shy first of all. And Why? just the Korean language itself. You know, like when you do the honorifics. is It just sounds like a little cuter. Mm, I think so. Maybe. Like, so you're saying, saying you're maybe cuter in Korean? No. <laughs> you mean speaking in Korean? Everyone. Oh, okay. Yeah, you too. You too. Maybe because we also didn't swear. <laughs> 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 oh yeah, maybe. Because it was in Korean. So. <laughs> and in English, it's a lot of um, like sarcastic humor. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. But Korean… Yeah, like, it doesn't yeah, really translate yeah. well. Yeah, yeah. I have a question about your name. Oh. what? what how did you come up with the name Damien? Damien? Yeah. Or was that your name back in Canada? No, no. It was… I was… My name was Alex when I was in Canada. Oh. By the way. <laughs> Alex Son. Son so my, Alex? Alex what? what was <laughs> Alex Son. My first Son. name. Son. Son. Yeah. Son. 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 Yeah. Alex Son. And before I debuted, my SoundCloud ID was Sunlight. Because my ah, first name and I use Pyogre Hyok for my Korean name. Oh. So, Son Light. But right, my company… Right. Yeah. Oh. Huh? Oh no, no, oh, no Son Light. <laughs> yeah, Son Light. Uh-huh. Son Light. Yeah. So, <laughs> Son Right. Okay. <laughs> okay. I, I just got it. <laughs> so, I don't get it. <laughs> son is a right. Right. Like, oh, right. Yeah. That's not what oh, I meant. So, sing, 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 a, sing a Son Writer. 
Oh yeah, actually I <laughs> actually <Sunrite. laughs> I sunrise sometimes. Yeah, yeah. Oh shit, bars. Yeah, bars. <laughs> bars. <laughs> I actually um read with there. Oh yeah. yeah, that was my like intention. Intention. Oh. Nice. Oh. Yeah. Uh. But I guess my company didn't think that was cool, so <laughs> they say no kidding and I say, okay, then I come up with some names and uh-huh. I met Damien and I thought it was pretty cool because I I was like I wasn't like big fan of the book Damien, mm. but I was like draw I, I was able to draw the icon of Damien like right away after mm. I meet the name. So I think that was kind of cool because being an icon, like nobody knows about Damien, but you're able to draw it. Like, I don't know, curly hair. Right. Mm. Yeah, things like that. Right. So right. that's cool. I think yeah. it suits you. Yeah. Yeah. I thought your actual English name was Damien. Oh. I didn't know about Alex. Yeah. Isn't it like not many people use Yeah, it's not too common. Yeah. 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 It's like yeah. a very like… Like… Fancy name. <laughs> like Peniel too. You, yeah. I I've never seen… Yeah, your never. actual name is Peniel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I've no. never met a Peniel before. Man. I've never I met I was shocked because he said it was from the Bible. It is. Is it? Yeah. Genesis 32 verse 30 and 31. Is it Peniel? It's Peniel. Yeah, in Korean it's like Peniel. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, Peniel. Peniel. Yeah. Maybe Pnier. it might be Peniel. I don't know. Mm. I, mean, I think it's Peniel in Korean. Yeah, man. But in, in English it's Peniel. I don't even know if it's pronounced Peniel. I just pronounce it Peniel. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty pretty sure cool. I've never like heard it pronounced. Yeah, I just know it's my name, so I'm like, yeah. all right, I'm going with Peniel. I, when when <laughs> I was talking about becoming a host here with Jay Jay Park, he's like, oh, is that the one with um, Peniel and Ashley? <laughs> I was like, it's Peniel. No, he's like, no, Peniel. <laughs> no, Peniel. And he was just messing with me. I was like, no, it's Peniel. He's like, oh, you mean Peniel? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I got that all the time. Yeah. Oh man. Oh. Okay. Well, we have a submission. Here's what one listener had to say or ask about miscommunication. Mm-hmm. Hey guys, this past summer I dated this guy from one of my college classes. One day we had been talking about past relationships, and he said that he had a past relationship of almost four years, but he ended it in March of 2021. We got together in May 2021, by the way. A day after we talked about this, his ex-girlfriend and her family somehow found me on social media, although neither one of us had explicitly stated to anyone we were together. They started harassing me and even found my family on social media and harassed them as well. Fast forward to July, I dumped him because I realized I used him as a rebound and that I wasn't actually that interested in him. But that story is for another time. In September during fall semester, I was passing by saying hi to some friends one day and was caught off guard to see my ex's ex-girlfriend there. Since when did she become a student at the same college as us? Anywho, my friend texted me right after I passed by them and said that as soon as I left, the ex-girlfriend asked her friends to drive her home because seeing me made her feel sick. I texted another friend asking why the ex-girlfriend was being so dramatic about me, especially since me and the guy aren't even dating anymore. I was told that she has been telling everyone that they were not broken up at all and that the guy cheated on her with me. He told her that I knew he was in a relationship already and he even said that I said I didn't care at all as long as I could be with him, which is not true at all. I thought she was lying at first, but now some things that the guy is telling other mutual friends of mine is making me wonder what the real story is. Now every time I see his ex-girlfriend, she walks away quickly and tries to avoid me at all costs. I feel bad because I do not want to make anyone feel like that. But I also don't know if she is the one lying or not. Is any of this miscommunication my fault? And should I reach out to that girl? What should I say? Woo. Well, okay. What a story. Oh, misunderstanding. <laughs> um, I don't think the miscommunication is her fault though. Because yeah. I feel like she was just kind of caught in the middle of it. Um, It's either the ex-girlfriend that's… Lying or the ex-boyfriend that's lying. I don't know which one is lying. But mm-hmm. one of them are obviously lying. Wait. So this writer is not with the boyfriend? No. no, no. They broke up in like yeah. July or something. Yeah, so July, then, May, June, July. So like three months. Why, why Why? do you care anymore? Like just move on. Like oh she, like, she stole my boyfriend. Yeah. Like she knew we were dating but… But what if the ex-girlfriend, the bat… The, the, you know, in this story… <laughs> what if she's telling the truth? What if… Then the it's writer's the boyfriend ex-boyfriend then. actually like… I mean that's a big possibility. Yeah. 
okay. he might have, you know, started dating. And then like, make, he like, told clear. the girl like, oh right. yeah, like, oh like we're broken up. Yeah, yeah. And then he started dating mm. the writer. Yeah. yeah. But then he got like got caught cheating or something. And then he was like, made up some story okay, to the ex-girlfriend. I, I also oh. think it's crazy of the ex-girlfriend to harass her family members too. Like you don't yeah. need to go that far. Okay, yeah, that's kind of weird. Like, on that history. To that extent, mm. that's a little ridiculous. I feel like she should have yeah. just hashed it out with like, just the, the girl just yeah, one-on-one. Yeah, 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 yeah. So she has I'm, problems. She has like… Anger uh, management or something. Bullying. Tying the knot. She has a problem with you know tying the knot. Like once it's over, it should be over for her too. Like the mm-hmm. ex-girlfriend. Uh, but she's still like harassing the writer. Well, I feel like if I was cheated on… And I heard that that girl knew that we were dating… But dated him anyways… I would… Forever hold a grudge against her. So you… Are you… Is <laughs> <laughs> that right to talk about you or… Did you submit yeah, did a post you? by any chance? <laughs> Wouldn't you not? Yeah that- but I wouldn't go out of my way to like keep harassing the person. I would just… Oh but yeah. I think That's right true. now… Please keep it to yourself. Okay, I know. Actually, no but right I'll, now do I don't not. think they're harassing her. They're just like avoiding her though. Yeah but like they're like bad mouthing her all the time. I mean, let's say someone did that to you, like whenever like you saw them in, or like someone yeah, brought I them up, too, you man. wouldn't. I would too. <laughs> you wouldn't be like, you wouldn't be like them. <laughs> I'm gonna lie. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I feel like it's the guy who probably lied and cheated, but I feel like I would reach out to the girl to try to resolve any misunderstanding yeah. and just being like, I really didn't know he lied to me, and then we can hate that guy together, and we could become best friends. But you don't know if the guy or the girl is lying. You don't know which one is actually lying. This is so confusing. Yeah, or maybe she can ask the guy whether which was true. It's like, mm. oh. does this keep happening to me? And she's saying that. But, but do you think that's actually going to solve the problem? Do you think once they hash it out, they talk it out, the ex-girlfriend is, is going to be like, Stop it. Okay, so now this is solved. So, yeah, so I'm going to tell all my people, all, exactly, all the friends like, that I uh, gossip about you. what I said. Hey, forget what I said. Forget what I said. <laughs> <laughs> no, maybe she won't gonna do it, but still, she might stop farther, like yeah, farther yeah, saying yeah, it, yeah. like because that that's not just true. She didn't she didn't cheat it on the guy mm. who were dating somebody. Have you, Damien? Have you ever had a situation like this where it's not similar to this, but has to do with like relationship miscommunication? There's Relation. like oh hey, sometimes like people like exactly like tie a knot. Yeah, sometimes some people. Don't tie a knot clearly. Mm. They just mm. have to say something bad about the person who ended the relationship. Right. Mm. And uh, I'm not that kind of person. But sometimes that made me like sad. Yeah. Of course. They would talk bad things about you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They just had to. Why? <laughs> well, well, like for example, give, give us an example of what they, what your ex would say about you. Like, I mean, the, things like, I don't know. I, I don't like remember it anymore mm. but still like we were we had somebody in common and they just had to say it those things like mm. only in her side right right, yeah. right. okay gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. right they oh, can like, still be oh, bitter right, right, right. after the breakup yeah. no but like mm. in this situation this ex-girlfriend should still be more angry with the guy not the girl because it's the guy who did cheat on yeah, her yeah. so if anything she should be yeah. har- harassing him and his family not the, okay, don't harass whoa, his family. Whoa, but like, whoa, 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 no, don't be like that, like, okay? No, because she <laughs> was like harassing that. the girlfriend's family. So I'm like saying you should be harassing the guy and being like, you know, no, you don't shouldn't talk be crap harassing about- anyone. Okay, okay Ashley, uh, yeah. so that's how no you are, harassing. Ashley. Okay, <laughs> that's how. Yeah, don't but, be like, but, but conf- you mean confronting? Yeah, conf- the guy yeah. instead of. You and know. if you're gonna talk crap, then talk crap about the guy for you cheating con- on you. You mean confront, not talk crap about. Yeah, I'm just saying because she yeah. did talk crap. <laughs> just saying, if you're gonna talk crap, talk yeah. crap about the guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, th- so next one, like, is perfectly what you're talking about right now. When when it comes to cheaters, why does it feel like nobody gets mad at the actual cheater versus the person they pulled into the mess? Mm. Right? No, I feel like people get mad at the cheater uh, too. Yeah, but you know what? When when is the guy that like? Not necessarily cheap, but like just like, you know, sleep around or whatever. Mm-hmm. He's like a player. You know, even now, 
society is very sexist still. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's just because of that. Mm. It's like sexist views still. Yeah. So it's like one person's like, Oh dang, like, oh, you slept with like so many girls. that They're like… They're almost like… In like high school, you know? I think, think like back to high school. If a guy slept with like three girls, they're like, oh… Like, whatever, you know? But then like a girl and they're like, oh, what a… Mm. You know? Yeah, but like… um, Well, with this one too. Like, we see a lot of videos of two girls fighting over a guy. Because the guy like slept with both of them. Or like… But, but the girls are fighting. They're mm -hmm. not fighting with the guy. Mm -hmm. Right, right. Vice versa. Right. You see two guys like fist fighting over a girl. And that girl was like just, you know, doing both of them. Wait, what? So they're both fighting? No, but like I'm saying… But they're not fighting… It's the, the oh, person… It's oh, the right. girl's yeah. fault for mm -hmm. like, you know, playing around with two of the guys. But the guys are fighting each other. Yeah, why is that? Yeah, why Maybe is it's that? like a pride thing? But it feels like you shouldn't like deal with that girl like too closely. It just feels like she's a… Kind of dangerous person. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What everything she does to her is actually out of normal, right? Yeah. Keep talking about her family and her parents comes to her and like texting, saying those bad words mm -hmm. and harassing, moving, even moving school, yeah. things like that. If I were me, I'm gonna like talk really short. Like, I think my ex boyfriend told me you're done at March. And we started at like May. Mm -hmm. And I think that's the truth. And so goodbye. Mm. Like that, was, that was everything like… <laughs> yeah, yeah. And goodbye. <laughs> and, yeah. And please go How talk you to your ex. How yeah, yeah. you gonna hit on that? Okay, yeah. goodbye. <laughs> okay, so, oh so man. Goodbye, okay, so. fine. We're good. We're good. <laughs> like, ah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hi. It's me again. And it's time now to shout out our sponsor, Honey. Online shopping is the most convenient way to buy stuff nowadays, but it would be even better if we could put in a promo code during check-in. Lucky for us, Honey helps us find the right code. Honey is a free browser extension that will automatically search the internet for promo codes and apply the best one to your cart while you are shopping online. They work with over 30,000 online stores with a wide range such as stuff in fashion, makeup, food, and tech. No need to change how you shop. You just browse, put the items you want in your cart, and when you are at checkout, Honey will immediately add any coupon it finds to make that total price drop. Our producer Diane was actually looking up tickets for a local amusement park and she got a notice from Honey that there was a discount for those buying three tickets at once. I was so impressed by Honey and now I know it really can help for almost anything. And Honey has found its over 17 million members over $2 billion in savings. So if you don't already have Honey, you could be straight up missing out on free savings. It's literally free and installs in a few seconds. And by getting it, you will be doing yourself a solid and supporting this podcast. Get Honey for free at joinhoney.com slash get real. Once again, that is joinhoney.com slash get real. All right, so we're going to take a quick breather since we're about midway through the podcast. Today, we're playing a bit of Taboo, which is a game where you right. try to get the other person to say the word or phrase without using any of the taboo words. So let's see how good we are at communicating with limited words. <clears throat> okay, there will be four rounds with each person taking a turn to help get the other three people to guess the correct word or phrase. Mm -hmm. First, we'll start with Peniel, then Damien, then me, and then PH1. So they gotta mm -hmm. close their eyes then? or what's No, we're just gonna on? be handed the paper oh, with the word know. slash phrase on it. So Peniel well, would we start… Can't say these yeah, words either? Try to explain Dang. your word uh, without saying the taboo words. A little hard but… And right. it will also be timed. So two minutes. You well, have I two got minutes. lucky. Okay. One, start. Two, uh, so Harry said that um, we could do this more freely when we use English rather than Korean. Sarcasm. Yep. Oh. What? Oh, okay. Uh, Sarcast sarcastic. Yeah, there you go. Sarcastic. What? Oh, wow. You got lucky. Okay, Damien. I, said, I told you I got lucky. I, th I think every one of you has done this. But I've never done this. Because I debuted with coronavirus. Perform on stage? In front of fans. Damien. Live? 
Perform. Sing. Performance. Performance. Live performance. Concert. Performance. Concert. 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 Oh, sick. Okay. Okay. One, two, three. You use this when you're bald. Huh? Uh, the the, the, oh. the clippers. Wig. Wig. Yeah, wig. Oh. Oh. Okay. okay. Gotcha. One, two. I never used the wig. Howdy, fellas. Cowboy. Cowboy hat. Um, Countryside. Texas. Texas. <laughs> Texas? Uh, Texas. Yes. Texas. 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 Oh. Texas. Okay. This is so easy. So good at this. <laughs> Wait, can we play one more round? Like a how old? <laughs> it's time to talk about our sponsor, BetterHelp. They've been friends of the podcast for a long time, but just in case you do not know, BetterHelp is an alternative option to in-person counseling. You can do it anywhere as long as you have a connection via computer or phone, which means you can keep the pajamas on. Within just 48 hours of registering, you can match with a professional to speak about your issues. There are so many different counselors that specialize to suit your specific needs, whether it's grief, anger, or even family issues. There's a whole list you can check out on their website, and there's also opportunities for financial aid for those qualified. I really appreciate that services such as BetterHelp are there to help make mental health support more accessible. Seeking professional help can really make a difference. So if you feel like you need someone to support and guide you through life's problems, I suggest checking out BetterHelp as a potential option. I want you to start living a happier life today and as a listener, you'll get 10% off your first month by visiting our sponsor at betterhelp.com slash getreal10. Join over 1 million people who have taken charge of their mental health. Once again, that is betterhelp, H-E-L-P, dot com slash getreal10. All right, so... Continuing on. I think that was the shortest <laughs> time we ever had. Um, right. Continuing on conversations about like communication slash miscommunications. Mm -hmm. Here are some simple questions and comments that fans left on the topic. Um, K-dramas in general are just built on top of huge misunderstandings. LOL. Oh, that's it? That's is it. it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Is it like true or false? <laughs> uh, that's are true. They? True. So true. Yeah, yeah. so true. I don't know. Can you give me an example? They like, always have the damsel in distress like theme. You know, like the guys like super rich, whatever. Mm -hmm. And girls poor. Mm -hmm. And then he falls for the poor girl. Mm -hmm. They There's like 50 dramas with that theme. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But that's not but miscommunication. That's mis mis misunder <laughs> Where's the misunderstanding? Where's the misunderstanding, misunderstanding. Pineal? <laughs> it's misunderstanding. <laughs> that shit's not real. <laughs> No, no, no. Like, um, I think it's more more about like, um, so it's like this. So the guy, rich guy, and the poor girl, they eventually fall in love. They're like happy. And then the girl finds out she has a terminal cancer, but she doesn't tell the boyfriend. And she's like, you know what? I think I think up. we have to break up. Mm -hmm. And he's like, why? Why? Tell me why. And she's like, I, I, I have another man. And she leaves because she don't, she doesn't want to tell her tell him the truth. Mm -hmm. She wants the boyfriend to move on, you know what I mean, and find another lover. Uh -huh. But that's the mis miscommunication right there, mis misunderstanding. And mm -hmm. the guy like gets really angry at her, like, oh, Bobby, he throws like stuff, and he's like, <laughs> he's like, he's making his own, why he's making his own drama, whatever. And then she's like, it's because I have cancer, and he's like. Oh. <laughs> And but then, there's communication right there. Well, eventually, eventually. Oh, eventually. Yeah. yeah. Nice drama. Not, yeah. So you're saying yeah. that K drama is always using miscommunication for yeah. a story? Yeah. yeah. No, That's I think it's misleading, which leads to miscommunication. Do you guys know the music video for Lanan Yojainika by Kiss? <laughs> The song that was super popular in early 2000s, like But it has a good song. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that song. That song. Okay, that yeah. music video is about a girl who, um, no, was it the guy or the girl? Any two, one of them loses their eyesight because they're a photographer and they were trying to take the chemicals out and it landed on their eye and then they end up becoming blind, and then they think the other person left them, but then they recover their eyesight. And then they're walking around the park and they see their former lover with an eye patch 
because they gave the eye to the other person. But then they were so bitter till now because they thought that they had been left. But in reality, mm. they got the other person's eye and that Dang. other person sacrificed the classic, eye. Classic, classic. Yeah. Okay, but how realistic is that? <laughs> <laughs> Very unrealistic. I I'm mean, gonna give you my eye so you can see again, but I'm not gonna tell you about that's it. Almost, yeah, that's you're like gonna a think fable, I left almost. you. That's yeah. K drama. Yeah. Um, I'm in a long distance relationship and time difference also makes us miscommunicate a lot, which leads to feelings of guilt and sadness. Mm. How do we overcome this? Well, Ashley. <laughs> 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 you just exposing her like that. Oh, it's over now. <laughs> okay, it's, okay. A, it's a pass. It's a pass. Yeah. I'll go with it. I mean, you know. I don't think time difference made me miscommunicate a lot. It was just more like the fact that we had to rely on messaging more often than like FaceTiming or talking on the phone because of the time difference. I guess that has to do a little with time difference, but… You know, like texting is not the same. Mm. Um, especially if you're not in a good mood, you can read it in the way you want yeah. to, which right, is right, the other right. person that you didn't mean it that way. Um, <laughs> honestly, it's been so long. I don't remember. Damn, she just. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just you know forget bad memories. Mm. Yeah, empty That's trash good. bin. <laughs> D- Damien, are are you good at communicating with your girlfriend or your partner? I think. I'm a good communicator. Yeah. 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 Mm. Like, I don't make misunderstandings. I try my best. Oh, you, you oh at least yeah. stay very, like, transparent with your yeah, thoughts yeah, and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. But what was the question, actually? I was thinking something <laughs> different. Like, <laughs> like, long distance relationship and the time difference makes us miscommunicate a lot, which leads to feelings oh. of guilt and sadness. How do we overcome this? I don't think you can overcome it because it's just that's what long distance relationship is about. And if you've been in a long distance relationship for a long time and you can't get together physically anytime soon, I would just say break up. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Beat around the bush. Don't beat around the bush. No sugar coating. Nuh uh. Straight to the point. Yeah, because when I wanted to get out of that long distance relationship, it was because like my contract was coming to an end and I really wanted to like live my life for once, Mm. you know, after becoming free. And before that, it was like, oh, I might get married to this person. Like I might move back to the States and get married. But then the thought of that just became so burdensome all of a sudden. So I just basically said like, I want to live my life now that I can actually do more things. Right. So I… Don't want to be in this relationship anymore. What was, his, what was his reaction to that? He was sad, of course. He was just looking forward to my contract ending and just getting married or something. Damn. But really? That's oh. what you call Himan Gomun. Damn. <laughs> Hope torture. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Okay. Now that we're talking about breaking up. Mm-hmm. Uh, let me ask Damien. Damien, when you break up with somebody, how do you go about it? Like, how do I do it? Yeah, how do you usually break up with somebody? This is like really hard question because it's kind of different from every time. Because what oh, the people… Oh, yeah. so you try different methods. Are you experimenting? He's like, this one… He's like, this is like a 20 out of 100. This method was like a 90. Not a good way. Yeah, email? Oh, not so good. <laughs> <Yeah>. Ghosting. <laughs> <laughs> but usually it's really, really struggling struggling to meet someone and break up. Like in face to face. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And it is definitely harder. Yeah. But yeah. I once tried it and there was like hair loss, stress was like coming. Like, so to, to who? To you? To you, me. No, like… No, oh, okay, like, I thought hair loss like… <laughs> no. <laughs> No, not physically. You mentally. No, <laughs> mentally. No, not like it, not like it really did happen. But to me, it was yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna lose my everything. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I actually, um, after only that day, I lost. I lose like three kilograms after that <gasps> day because I was so stressed. After one day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, were you the one breaking up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had to tell. But yeah. you were stressed that, at the fact that you had to break up. Yeah, yeah. It's not like the person is bad or something yeah. mm. because of the situation, mm-hmm. usually. So, 
What was the situation though? Because one thing I don't understand when people break up, the thing that they say is, I'm doing this for you. Like this is for you. No. It's you deserve somebody better because that no. doesn't make sense. Yeah, if yeah. that person deserved better, then that means that person is worth being with, but you just don't want to be with that person. You're just like Who hurt you? <laughs> <laughs> no, Who it hurt just you, always damn. makes yeah. me mad when somebody breaks up with you saying like <laughs> you deserve so much better than me. Like, okay, then you do better. And like if you really think that, then you do better and love me harder instead of just like breaking up and being like, oh, you deserve so much better than me. I love Ashley's like bitter stories. <laughs> Every time this comes up, like relationship comes up, she's always like… It's not even just like my personal experiences. It's like what my friends go through, what I see amongst my friends. It's just… It doesn't make sense. What I've noticed recently um, amongst especially younger people, mm -hmm. they break up through texts. That's it? Yeah, like, Damn. Would command, but not in the like, I think it's better that we I actually warn if I have to. Like, you uh, would? Break you know, up like, I think we're gonna have to talk about this relationship. Uh -huh. So, do you wanna meet? Oh, yeah. you warned them before. Yeah, do you wanna call? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. they prepare yeah. Yeah, yeah, themselves yeah, yeah. a little yeah, yeah. bit. After that, oh, oh my god, but like, after dating, how long though? Even if you date like two years, you still break up over well, a text? I don't know. I, well, I wouldn't know too much. I think you're pretty straightforward. Um, when it comes to breakups, are you also very straightforward? Yeah. 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 <laughs> what do you <laughs> say friend. usually? Goodbye. Like… Uh, let's say we didn't date like too long. Mm -hmm. I'm just like… Yeah, I think we're better off as friends. <laughs> <laughs> do you need it though? Do you still want to be friends? Yeah, I'm friends with all my exes. Wow. So like… Okay. But if it's You're like a no, rare so cool. breed, bro. <laughs> but I'm like, yeah, I'm like, yeah, I think we're better off for friends. But if it's like if I dated them for a while, then I'll just be like, I'll be honest, like, hey, you know, like I've tried like yeah. like this is stressing me out, this is stressing me, but I've tried like um chamaing mm -hmm. to my extent, but like I'm at like mm. my limit now. Right. Mm. I was like, I can't I can't take it anymore. It's like I think we should just break up. Mm. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Have you ever had like the other person being like, no, please don't bring up with me. Like, give me one more chance. Yeah. No, uh, no I try to end it on a good note. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Without, you know, fireworks of tears. Uh, I I talk to them in person. I, I would never text them. Even if mm. I dated them for a short time. Do you like… How do you warn? I don't warn them. Oh Just damn! Like, like they, they think it's like a date. Yeah. Hey, honey, like, do you oh, want to meet no, at and tomorrow? Like, like, <laughs> come sit. Yeah, not like that. But when it's the right mood, mm. when no, we're but, talking about like right kinda, mood no, but up. girls have that like sixth sense. Yeah, yeah, they they, they kind of sense it. Yeah. They know, and they would notice from my behaviors and the way I treat them. Yeah, the way yeah I'm around it, it definitely yeah, changes. Yeah, they they could sense it. Mm. So I just bring it up. Yeah, but it's very tough. It's very tough. Very tough. It's very stressful. I get super sad, you know, and not gonna lie, like not not proud, but like you know, I I, I cry, you know, like when I'm, when I'm telling them, like wh when it gets sad, when she cries, mm. make yeah, me course. cry. Yeah. You know? yeah, dude, of course, and, like, that's normal. I'm just yeah. weird. But after that, like <laughs> after you cry out, like it kind of like it's it's done and over with. You know what I mean? Mm. It's like okay, mm. but it definitely takes time after after the breakup for me to like fully, you know, yeah, get it back in the game. <laughs> 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 gotta gotta get back. <laughs> get back in the game. <laughs> no, but you know you know what annoys me. What? It's like when um. So like, let's say you're fighting on the phone, right? And then oh, and then yeah, I know. Like the girls, all of a sudden, they're just like, ah, oh, then break up. Yeah. It's like uh. oh, it's like oh, okay. It's like all right. No, that? you should. Then, I don't say that. Well, well I'm just saying, oh, okay. <laughs> I don't no, say if it. You don't, <laughs> if you don't mean it, don't say yeah, it. Yeah, if you don't they mean it, you shouldn't they say it. You to, like, Usually, girl, or whatever, girls say you know? that to to test their uh, guys, like yeah, but you know, boyfriends. It's hurtful. Whenever they mm. like say like break up, then I'm just like, I don't like tell. I'm just like, okay. <laughs> I'm okay. like, all right, if you want. Okay. And then like the next morning, they're like, are you really gonna break up? I'm like, what the. <laughs> or, or you get a paragraph long yeah. text. Yeah. I just think it's funny how… <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How you <laughs> didn't <laughs> even <laughs> think <laughs> twice when I said let's break… <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, the reader, Maybe I'm just more. like… <laughs> <laughs> That's true. No, well, if you didn't mean it, don't say it. Like, yeah. Uh, yeah. It's just like out of 
anger and also just to we they, I think they want to know how much they love them you know how much this other person loves me like what are they gonna yeah, that's say that's a stupid way to f-ing test it that's true <laughs> and also I'm gonna like, test them by saying let's break up I know it's like, how, tell, tell me how much you want to keep this relationship that's basically what they're saying yeah that's I dumb. think don't fall for that trap <laughs> yeah well. Oh my god, passive, passive aggressive. aggression. Oh my god. Passive, passive aggression. Uh, 약간, um. It's like, you know, it's like, oh, na, 친구들랑, it's like, 놀러 가도 돼? And then there's like, oh, 놀아? Then they, they get mad? No, no, like, so like. I got cu- passive. So you like, know, so I'm trying to explain to you what passive uh-huh. aggressive is in Korean. Um, Isn't that like the best way to describe it in Korean? I have no idea. I, I don't know how to. 아닌 척 하는데, 은근히, 은근히 이렇게. 쿨병? 공격 아니 그러니까 어떻게 말해? 공격적인 거를 안 그런 걸처럼 감싸서 응. 예를 들어서 남자친구가 여자친구한테 어나 친구랑 놀러 갈 거야 놀러 좀 놀다 올게 한 여자친구가 어 나도 놀러 가면 되지 아니 그게 아니라 이런 거어 뭐, <웃음> 가서 가서 맛있는 거 먹고 재밌게 놀고 와어 근데 웃음 웃음 이모티콘 에 yeah, like that 아. that's passive aggressive 어, 그렇게 그래. 재밌게 그래. 놀고 와 재밌었어? 어, 나, 나 없이도 재밌었어? 아, 오케이. Yeah, okay. yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. He got it right away. <웃음> He's like, oh, s**t, trauma. Okay. Yeah. Mm. That stuff. Do you, do you have experiences like that or people like that? Of course. It's not only in between like yeah, relationships, but yeah. some people use it very often. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, how, how do you feel about that? Like those people? How do I feel? Yeah. I want to punch them in the face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's that's active aggressive. <laughs> that is active just aggressive. Just kidding, just kidding. No, like, Damn. like for example, um, I debuted and something good happened to me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh. And they know it. Yeah. And they they want to contact me and we're talking about each other's like how we're doing, and you know they. So we might be going. Oh yeah. It's like, yeah. Why did you then? Why did you even call me? Yeah. Did you even call me for this? Like, like. like oh my god. Yeah, Damian, bro. Yeah, 잘 되면 좋겠다. 너 잘 되니까 뭐. Oh, you must oh. be so yeah, happy. That's like that's tender. Like <gasps> really. Oh, but you never know what's gonna happen. What? Things like that. That's yeah. like wishing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. you know, like they're trying to say, I'm telling this for you, but you never know. Ah, ah, 너뭐 어쨌든 가수는 오래 어떻게 될지 모르니까 뭐좀 준비해야 되는 거 아니야? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Things like that. Yeah. Things like that. Okay. Oh my god. Yeah. I'd be so mad if There's so many people who are doing that, actually. Yeah. yeah. yeah I mean, They're not brave of, enough like to… Yeah. There's a lot of snakes in this industry, so… I mean. yeah. yeah, if you're going to congratulate someone, just do it genuinely. Yeah, yeah, don't yeah. like… Or don't call, at least. Like, yeah, if you yeah, can't, don't like, call. you don't have to call. Yeah, just text, gosh. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, <laughs> man. I hate that. Okay, someone else said, I thought I was nicely letting my friend know to not talk smack about other people behind their backs. But then they told everyone else I yelled at her to the point of her crying. Has this ever happened where you and someone remember a moment completely different? Yeah, pathological liars. <laughs> <laughs> well, if when they're not pathological liars, it's just… Well, I mean, people that talk smack, most of the time, they're like 95% of the story that they make up, it's like… All a lie. Like mm-hmm. they'll have like they'll have like a little bit of truth, but then they'll like make their own version of it and, and exaggerate like, mm, like crazy. Yeah. So then when the friend told them like, oh, you shouldn't like talk smack, they're probably like, She told me not to talk smack, but she was like yelling at me and like well, it's probably what she's doing with like all her other stories. Mm. Or his stories. When, I think stories. I get confused when I speak Korean. Like uh, there are a lot of times when I miscommunicate in Korean because even with the simple stuff, you know when you ask a question and you're supposed to answer in like yes or no. But then Korean sometimes it's like, oh, you go, 할수 있지? And then like, no means yes and yes means no. Like, you know what I'm talking about? Like, you're supposed to respond with 네. But then in English, you're supposed to respond with no. Oh, so yeah, you're like, oh, ah, yeah, 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 yeah. And then they're oh, like… Oh, do you do that? Yeah, I think I always get confused. Really? Yeah. So I, I always have to just say it out in full sentence. And they're like, oh, then you're supposed to say no. And I'll be like, oh, okay. Yeah, no. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's opposite in Korean. Yeah, it's huh? confusing. I'm so confused right now. Like, do you mind? Or, yeah. And you say, no means, no, I don't mind. But in Korea… It means like, like I don't want to do I it. I know. Like, yeah. No, no thank like, you. Yeah, yeah, no thank you. So, for example, Hey, Panier, uh, 
It's 네 아니면 아니요, right? Uh-huh. You can use it or you don't. Yeah. But it's like, do you mind if I could borrow your phone? And you're supposed to say, no, I don't mind. Or like, no. Oh yeah, no, yeah. I don't mind. Yeah. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Okay, 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 okay. 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 Okay, like you, you say oh, oh mm. enjoy. That means enjoy. I don't like it. Uh-huh. But it's like you don't like taco, and you're like no. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, okay, okay. Like, yeah. oh, okay, okay, okay. No. I get it. I get it. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you. Yeah. Oh wait, you know how they have communications majors in college? Yeah, because my friend is a communications major, and he was saying that in class they learn how to. Um, talk to your significant other in a way where they won't misunderstand you. This is in Korea, by the way. So a lot of their class revolves around like dating life, like relationships. <laughs> they teach you how to talk nicely so the other person will not misunderstand. And also they teach you how to talk like a business person, you know, like a CEO. Mm. Um, and yeah, I think they do like CEOs or people that do business have a different way of talking. They know how to lure you in. And I'm that person who always falls for that. I'm always like you're just naive. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. So do you do you keep listening to those like phone marketing? Just like, yeah. Oh my god! If it sounds you know, like, oh my gosh, my debit card! Yeah. Buddy, here you go. <laughs> I almost got um to fish. Uh, what me too. It? Actually, voice fishing. I always got I almost got voice fishing done. Yeah. Damn. Because they yeah. this was when I it was like. Five, six years ago. And they said they were calling from the prosecutor's office. And someone used my name to gamble. And now I have like $100,000 in debt. And they were like, I need you to go somewhere quiet. And tell me your information. So I was eating brunch with a bunch of friends. I was like, wait, hold on. This is urgent. I got to go to the bathroom. Be right back. And they were like, wait, hold up. What is this about? And I was like, no, someone's apparently in Gwangju. They used my uh, information to gamble and blah, blah, blah. No, I lived in Korea for like five years. And then um, and then my friend was like, no, wait, that's voice fishing. And then they like got the phone and they were like, Yogi, do go say all? And they were like fighting. And then basically that, that person was like, oh, and then, then. and then they just hung up. And I was like, you just saved me a hundred thousand dollars or something. <laughs> I was like, thank you. <laughs> like it was maybe two years ago. Uh-huh. I was eating like maratang and I just ordered it mm-hmm. and the phone came out and the phone call. Yeah. Yeah. And I got it and it was like the same. Like the Chungang Jibo gave me that. Like you got a money and you gotta pay like something happened. And I was like shivering my hands, like, what? And I was outside of the restaurant uh-huh. and I was talking to them like for 20 minutes, but I was really serious. <laughs> but I didn't but <laughs> but in like 10%, I thought that was a voice pissing. Yeah. Piss, pissing, fishing, uh-huh. fishing, fishing, pissing. Yeah. Okay. Fishing? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Voice fishing. 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 Uh-huh. So I wasn't gave them my personal information. Oh. But I was keep hey, ta- job, asking job. about the like… Oh. What's like… What exactly is happening? And I was keep thinking about… 5% of my brain is keep thinking about… I ordered my maratang and it's getting cold. Like, so… <laughs> so <laughs> and so for that 50, 15%, I asked them… I'm gonna hang up the phone. And I'm gonna ask somebody… Uh, next to me, yeah. there was nobody. But and you're gonna call me back after like six p.m. Mm-hmm. So I gotta go to work. Mm-hmm. But actually, I have to eat maratang. So, <laughs> so I hang up, and they didn't call me back. Right. right. So then I found out like, oh, that's voice. But now they have you on database because they keep a record of Damn people it. who actually were on the phone for a long time, like who almost <gasps> fell for it, and you get more calls because I got how more do you calls. Know this detail. Are you? <laughs> are you? Are you? <laughs> did you call him while he was eating? I, I watched so many videos on this, like after I was almost. Oh. But you know, like the most the thing is now people will purposely target the elderly yeah. and they will like yeah. call them saying their grandchild is hurt or something yeah. or their son or daughter is hurt and then they will make them like they will pretend like they're at the hospital and they will say they need surgery now so get $30,000 and deposit it or something and of course they're gonna fall for it and they're gonna think about their child first nothing else is coming into their head so so many people fall for that. And I just feel so terrible. And yeah. there's no way to track it. There's no way to get the money back. Yeah. It's just… You just get scammed and you just get money taken from you. Mm. But one day, I got a… Like… Have you ever done Google Play? Mm. Like Google Play… $400 was like auto… Like it was going out of my bank account. Oh wait, you use Android? 
No, I even use iPhone. But and that was what happened. Play? Yeah, uh -huh. they made my ID and I don't know what has happened. Oh, there was one Google ID that I didn't use it for a while. Yeah. And from that ID, uh, they up, they downloaded from Android and they downloaded Lineage game. Uh -huh. And from Lineage, they Spent purchased 400? like $400. And they got charged to you? Yeah. So, so you had to happened? pay? So no, so it, I, it was like a week was took to solve the problem. Oh. Like I called Google first Damn. and they say <laughs> like you called Google? Google Korea. Oh like okay. Google wow. Korea first like uh Google has purchased I've never I don't play Lineage but they say I'm purchased like four hundred bucks on Lineage. Then Google say call Lineage and I call Lineage and call Google and I was like <laughs> Oh my God. I hate and that. then I called uh, Google and I was like really angry like they, you guys are, what are you guys yeah. doing? It took me like five days already. And yeah. then they like solved the problem. Oh, yeah. man. Wow. You've never done Don't that? Don't fall for scams. No, I haven't really? had that happen to me, thankfully. Oh. Yeah. Like I, ha I hate having to call like the actual corporation or the company wow. to solve a problem, minor problem. And they're like, okay, wait. Like, yeah, we're yeah. going to connect you to this person. Like, well, you know, customer Connected service. Connected to like five different people. <laughs> no, but customer or like, service. Like, oh, all of our people are like busy, busy? online. So mm -hmm. you have to like make another call later. But dude, Korea's customer service is so much better than Americans. Is it? True, uh, true. So much yeah. better. America, true. you have to wait for hours and hours and hours. Yeah. Literally. True, 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 true. But Korea is really efficient. And they have a lot of nice people. That's because Korea, everything got to move fast. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you guys are you guys better at talking on the phone or or through text? I actually write something that I have to tell on the phone before I. Oh, so you're you, like you, a, you write a script. important call. Oh, yeah, like like, I gotta like say business this. calls or or like when I get scammed, like of course I gotta check that 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 things mm. like that. Oh. When wow. I was purchased on Google thing, but even when you talk to no no friends, no friends, okay. I don't like. <laughs> oh, friends. Hi, today oh, we're oh. gonna talk about <laughs> <laughs> when I when I hey, did you get my bullet point? Uh, <laughs> when, when I'm calling with my company, sometimes I do because there are a lot of things to check, and I, uh, I usually forget yeah, it. I mean, that's right? business, so yeah, yeah business yeah, related, yeah. serious stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, I think that's good. If it's like close friends, I think I'm better at just like the phone, maybe. Mm -hmm. I don't think there's like a big difference, but then like I'll text with them for a bit, but then I'll get lazy, mm -hmm. so I'll just call and be like. Whatever, but then like people I don't know, I think I'm better at texting than like talking yeah. on the phone. Mm, I, I'm better on the phone, but I like texting better. Me too. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Don't you agree? Yeah. But I prefer talking in person the most. Mm. Oh, you just edit the option C, yeah, yeah. you know what I mean? All right. <laughs> it was it was phone or texting, yeah, and you're like, I mean, um, <laughs> or in person. <laughs> I want to be able to see their facial expressions, and there's just something about talking face to face. And That's like, what FaceTime is for. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I don't really like FaceTime. You're a very outgoing person, that's why. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, and you're living your but life. But then it's like… No, no more it's, contract. I just no choose boyfriend. when I want to be… Want to meet everyone. <laughs> want to explore the world. Okay, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> keep going. No, keep okay, going. No, 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 I just choose when I want to do that. Like I don't think I'm completely extroverted because mm. there are times when someone calls me and I will just ignore it. Because mm. I don't want to talk. And, and then I'll text like… Never picks up. No, I'll kidding. text two hours later and be like, oh I was busy. Like sorry. Right. I was busy doing nothing. Yeah. Selective <laughs> extrovertedness. Yeah. We'd like to thank this episode sponsor, the latest mobile game from Wuga, Switchcraft. Switchcraft is a new way to play match three games that also involves a story as intense and involved as a graphic novel. First of all, what is a match three game? You may remember them as those make the tile or blocks disappear puzzles where you manipulate pieces to match colors or shapes in a row. And the way Switchcraft is different is through their storytelling. You need internet access to play this game, but 
Luckily, I live in Korea where there's free and fast Wi-Fi everywhere, even on public transportation. A lot of times, I'll be on long train rides on my way to different work appointments or even to get some lunch with friends all the way across town. This has been a great way to keep myself entertained by actively solving these puzzles, but also engaging me with the story because you have to keep playing the levels to know what happens next. And there are a lot of levels. The story also starts in cold winter which is perfect because the weather is getting cold here too and it matches the mood perfectly. I don't want to spoil too much of the story but basically you play as this witch named Bailey who is a student at basically a witchcraft university. You find out that your best friend mysteriously disappeared and you have to figure out what happens by playing the match 3 levels. And there's different outcomes depending on the choices you make. I'm just hoping I haven't made any wrong choices, but I guess I'll have to keep playing to see. Download Switchcraft for free and unlock the magical mystery. Well, Damien, thank you so much for joining us today. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Am I done here? Yeah. Oh, really? Okay. Um, Time flies. Wow. Time flies. <laughs> Do you have anything that you're working on You gotta communicate right to now? him that we're oh. ending before you, you throw that You should have warned him yeah. beforehand. Yeah. It feels like… Yeah. Bad. You're Damien, bad at communicating. It feels like a breakup. We're ending now, okay? Okay. Okay. <laughs> so Damien… <laughs> okay. Do you have any upcoming projects? Yeah, I'm writing some songs but I don't know like exact, exactly when, I'm, when, I'm, when it will gonna be come out. Mm. But still I'm really working hard on it. And okay, okay. Well, what's your uh, Instagram then? What is my Instagram? Yeah, because I'm sure when you release it, you're going to upload it on Instagram, right? That you released it. Oh, yeah, my so ID? Yeah, 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 yeah. so oh. our listeners can follow you. Is uh, Damien is me. Damien underbar is me. Because already somebody took Damien. Oh, okay. Damien okay. is me. Yeah. <laughs> it's D-E-M-I-A-N, right? Yeah. Yeah. D-E-M-I-A-N. It's me. It's Damien me. Damien okay. me. Okay. So go follow that account. And whenever he does release the music that he's working on, Probably gonna upload it, right? Thank you so much. Okay. Are you? Are you? Do you have plans to um, like Hwaltong as a band also? Oh, because I was in the super yeah, band. Yeah, yeah. Uh, not like now. Project like project. Oh, oh, something. yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, why yeah. not? And maybe from yeah. now on, if I do a concert, I was planning on singing on the Soi Mar Mr. Yeah, things like that. Yeah. What, do, what do I say? Mr. Yeah, yeah, Mr. Background music. Like, yeah, yeah but now I want to play with some band. Live band. Yeah, live live band. band. It's much, much better. It's yeah. very different. Yeah, yeah. yeah very yeah. different. Because now I know someone at, at least oh. because mm. I didn't know anyone. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, he he's super super talented. Like I I watch the show. Oh, thank you so like much. Every week. What what instrument? No, he's a vocalist. Oh, vocal. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. His voice. Okay, okay. His, his instrument. His vocal cords. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, very, very talented. So looking forward to your next project. Thank you so much. Yeah. Okay, well, we're going to say goodbye for today. Okay, guys, if you want to… <laughs> if you want to watch the episode… <laughs> what? If you want to… <laughs> if you want to watch the video version of this episode for free, it's available on youtube.com slash divepods. Make sure to follow and review this podcast. Five stars only. Five stars only. Five stars Good only. Good reviews only. And we'll see you next week, guys. Thanks so much for listening. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Hey, guys. Did you enjoy this video? Make sure to subscribe like and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss another video